Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today I want to share with you two new graveyard decks for using in the new meta after the April balance update. Both of these are slightly different variations of previous graveyard decks. The first, you can already see right here, is a 3.8 elixir super defensive strategy. You have the Infernal Tower in there, which is an absolute beast on defense. You have the Valkyrie for insane splash damage, and then you have the E-Wizard to slow everything down on defense as well. I actually found this deck on TV Royale today, looked it up online, and saw the win percentages are pretty insane, so I had to share it with you. Deck 2 over here, guys, is more of an aggressive graveyard strategy. It's pretty similar to the previous one, but now you have the Spear Goblin Hut in there as well, which, as you all know, got buffed in April, and is in almost every deck this season. This one is definitely more spell baity with the Barbarians, the Musketeer, and the Goblin Hut, uh, so definitely a bit more aggressive. Both of these, uh, funny enough, are the same electric cost, 3.8 and 3.8, but this one definitely is the more defensive of the strategies. So we're gonna go ahead here, jump into our first battle of the evening, and uh, see how we can do with both of these decks. By the way, uh, how are you guys feeling right now about Clash Royale? I want to kind of ask you, get a general feeling of what you guys are feeling about Clash Royale right now. Are you happy with it? Are you excited? Are you all kind of just waiting for the next update before something else happens? How are you feeling right now? And speaking of the next update, what are you hoping to see? What is the main thing that you want to see in that next update? Number one, desire. What's the number one, your, your number one wish list for the, uh, for the new update? Infernal Tower Hyad, has got lightning spell? You probably do, knowing my luck. Boom! Infernal Tower, get the work done. All right, we good. All right, so we can soak that damage. The Skeleton Army got some good damage on the right-hand side there. So I am definitely okay with that, Jazz. I kind of want to go, but I don't want to go. We're going to do it now. Wait for it, boys. Just here. Like I hear? I, wasn't, I didn't want to do it initially because I knew he had minions. But the reason I did it, I shall disclose in a brief moment once we kill this Valkyrie. She nasty. Maybe it's a bit too aggressive there. I wasn't going to do it just because uh, I knew he had minions. And you can't really go Valkyrie, Graveyard, Poison in single Elixir and afford everything. So instead, I opted to... Uh, I don't think that's a good play, though, because now we're, the tower's pretty low. And we could easily... Easily lose this tower here. Which is not what we want to happen. Yeah, that tower's dead. That tower's dead for sure. It's always a lot harder to, to go graveyard on the second tower, which is why I wanted to kind of prevent this. So I definitely was a bit too aggressive with that Valkyrie graveyard there. But uh, it's all right. It's not it's not the, the worst thing in the world to, uh, to be in, the worst situation, but it's, it's, it's okay. Could be worse. Could be better. Could be a million things as well. You know what I'm saying, boys? It's here. Nice. There we go. We good. What you got, dude? We're gonna go in front of tower over here. That way he can't uh, block it with anything. Play a bit of defense here. Make it back here. In front of tower is gonna go down. Not too much worried about that. Valkyrie in this business. He's gonna farble that, Jazz. I'm okay with that. Boom. Snowball this, Jazz. Poison this, Jazz. There we go, boys. Nice, nice, nice. Mega mini for this. Valkyrie should go down. We're defending pretty good, guys. We're defending pretty good. Which is obviously the main goal of a deck like this. Is to be able to play defense. Where's your minions, dude? Where's your minions, bro? Where's your minions, bruh, bruh? Graver got some good damage done, for sure. I'm okay with that, Jazz. The question is, sir, where are you coming from with your Infernal Tower? we will do some work there. Nice. Let that tank a fair bit there. Gonna go one of these. One of these. Poison some minions. Okay, I'm okay with that. Getting some damage done there. 
Getting some good damage done. Wow. I'm definitely okay with how that battle, that little exchange went right there. For sure. Is here? I'm gonna go one more graveyard aggressively here. Not even worried about defending this next little push here. Skeleton army here. Should we get him down here? Down to go, 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 graveyard. Yes, there we go. There we go, my dear friend. GG's, man. So even though we lost that tower, guys, the pure power of the defense of this deck was too much for him to handle. All right. I might actually do... I might do the, the ladder battles with this deck, and then we'll go into some global tourney battles with the other deck. We'll kind of see how it goes. I definitely want to throw in some global tourney battles into... Uh, into the videos, but I don't know. Maybe not. I do have a good replay that I kind of want to share as well, so we'll kind of see which one I'm feeling like at the end of the video if I want to do global tourneys or uh, the replay. Alright, Valkyrie did some work there. Ooh, no, no, no. This is going to be a giant double prince deck. That's my speculation right now. Please zap that, bro. A snowball this? Boom. Yes. Not, not not really a great snowball. But, uh... Dark, oh, it's maybe like a Brits... I don't even know. Brits spam me? Pekka control? What are we so speculating right now? Honestly, I want the Inferno Tower to survive, so we're gonna just chill. Oh, he zaps. All right. Execution. This is... This is gonna be an annoying battle. That's, that's what I'm thinking right now. Speaking of what deck he has, it's gonna be like a graveyard or something. What are y'all, what are you guys speculating right now? Graveyard? You know, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go graveyard here. You can go pack up for the, for the Valkyrie. I told y'all. Did I not say? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I said he was gonna go that. You know how I knew? I'm just that smart, boys and girls. I'm just... Just that good. Here we go. He zaps the Skarmy. He's dead. We go Mega Minion for the Barbarians. Nice. That was a good D. That was definitely a good D. But the thing is, we're kind of over committing right now. You want to play hyper defense with this strategy and then offense second. We are doing the opposite of that, of that plan. Alright, we're gonna do this. Wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if he had like a... I was gonna say a lightning spell, but we've already seen fireball, so that can't be that. It can't be the lightning spell, because we've seen the fireball. Boom. Nice data, bro. I dig it. Wait for it. Infernal Tower do work. Does he zap it? Snowball this. Scarmy here. Nice. Actually, not, not the greatest Skarmy of my life there. Valkyrie here. If he Pekka's in front of that Executioner, we actually do some work. Kind of want to go Graveyard for this. But I think we're going to chill and play defense instead. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Skarmy here. This here. Wait for it, boys. Valkyrie here. He zaps. We snowball. The defense is too insane, guys. The defensive power of the dark side is unbelievably OP. A bit aggressive here. I don't like normally like going this aggressive. We'll kind of see how it goes, guys. We'll kind of see. Nice. Yeah, that's way too aggressive, Shane. We're going to lose now. We're going to lose now, boys. Boom. One of these. Here we go. Do we lose? I don't think so. We almost did, though. A bit of an overcommittal by me, for sure. I'm going to go defensive Infernal Tower here. Kind of keep playing a bit of the defense. Poison this Jazz. He was he here. Nice. There we go. He's dead. Get a Velk in the back. Making some questionable plays now. That poison was definitely not, not the most ideal. 
any sense of the word ideal. Defensive graveyard here. How about this, Jazz? Boom. Nice. There we go. He was a ya. Wait for it, boys. Valkyrie here. Nice. Alright, we good, we good, we good. Scarmy here. Where's your zap, bro? Alright, let's go for it, baby. Let's go for it. All in here. We gonna win right now. Maybe. We'll see. Go, Graveyard, go. Go, Graveyard, go. Yes. Alright, GG's. Wow, that was... Uh, I'm actually... <laughs> Despite some seriously bad plays, we uh, we won, which is the most important thing. But we definitely had some questionable plays. Let's be real. There was, but honestly, like I said, guys, the defensive power of this deck is insane. Even after making like an aggressive overcommittal, we just turtle up, just get that infernal tower value. Like obviously, you can only zap the infernal tower or the Skarmy. So that is where we got the best kind of like trade offs in that particular battle, but, uh, GG's, man, 5203, 2300 in the world. Even though it's broken, I'll still say, just because it makes me feel good, and we are 43 in Canada, nice. All right, let's go ahead and throw on a deck two, which is the, uh, kind of more baity, the more baity version of the graveyard deck. It's basically the exact same of the one I did. I think I did a video on it, uh, last season. It was like a Barbarian Furnace deck. Barbarian Furnace Graveyard. Basically the same thing, but it has the Spear Goblin Hut in there instead. Spear Goblin is the new hotness. Despite the Furnace being pretty hot. Because it's a Furnace, right? It's got Fire Spirits. Hence the hotness. But the new hotness is the uh, is the Spear Goblin Hut. So we'll kind of just see what this guy... Veed, Veedman. Veedman, what you got, dude? What you got? Oh, uh, I was gonna go ice cold with the game started here. I don't like this kind of back and forth emoting. I prefer to just play. Sir? Can you please do something else besides just sitting there? You're gonna give me a heart attack. My heart is palpitating right now, boys. What you got, dude? What you got? I know we have an ice cold. We could grave either right, but. He's being very, like, slowly defensive. So I don't want to overcommittal. I don't want an overcommittal here. Alright. Nice zap, bro. Nice zap, dude. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a stupid golem deck. Yikes, chief. You know what? Let's just go like this. Let's just he he just went that, so let's just do this. See if we can punish that golem. This is not looking good though, boys and girls. This is not looking good at all, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Come on. My witch is dead. We defended the golem. But we did not win the war. If that makes sense. Here we go. Nice, baby. Alright, we defended the golem. My heart is still palpitating. Is that normal? Is it normal for a video game to make your heart palpitate? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I'm just gonna go... Ice. I don't know what he has for spells yet. It could be poison. Could be natal. And it could be lightning spell. And it could be uh, fireball. It could be rocket. Could be zap. It could be snowball. It could be fireball. It could be natal. Any of these things are, are possibilities, guys. Here we go. Nice. Barb's here. He says, he says GG's. It's Rocket? I actually said Rocket out of like, I didn't think it'd be Rocket. I kind of said Rocket just, just to list all the spells. Uh, and, then, and it was Rocket. What in the world? GG's, man. GG's, bro. Do we three crown? Come on, three crown. Three, two. Yes. All right, there we go. There we go. That's not bad. 31 trophies, played some spells, 52-34, top 1,000 in the world. And just for curiosity's sake, guys, where are we over here? We are 31. One more. One more battle against Shaban. Shaban.
I feel like that's kind of like the, the sound you'd make, like, when you hit something or someone. It's just like, shaban. Instead of like, waboom. It's like, shaban. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just being dumb right now. No, the giant skeleton. Oh, that's a clone deck. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe no clone spell. Have you guys seen that? I might do a video on it, actually. You guys know what deck I'm talking about, though, right? That was, oh, that was the worst D I've ever done in my life. Literally the worst. Because you know what I did? I should have used the barbell to kill the witch. But I used it like a nub. Like, literal nub sauce right there. That was quite literally the nub sauce. No! Don't kill my goblins! Don't kill them! Alright, we good. Dang it, we're playing so bad here. We're playing that log against the... That, here's the thing, that bar built against the witch forced me to use the ice golem. Which, if I didn't... If I didn't use the... If I didn't do that bad of a defense, uh, we would have saved the two elixir from the ice golem. And... Um, would have got some work done with it, you know what I'm saying? Get your miner out of here, boy. Get your miner out of here. Alright, we good. We're actually not good, guys. I, I say we're good. We're actually quite the opposite of being good. Quite the opposite of being good right now. We need to go on the offense here soon, boys. Oh, is he Mosquitia? <laughs> Boom. Nice. Let's get here. Let's go in here. Bars back here. Alright, we good. Poison the witch. Bars are just dead to the witch. Man, his, his deck is literally nasty sauce. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go aggressive here, boys. I was supposed to use Barbarian Barrel there. Oh no. That was a fail. I want to use Barbarian Bill there, but I didn't. You know, let's just go aggressive here, boys. Let's do it. Graveyard here. Do we win? I honestly would prefer to win right here. So if that could be a possibility, much appreciate that, game. Can we win, please, game? Just let me win, please. Please. Please, sir. Please, sir. Just let me win. Yeah. Ugh. Gonna be a yikes, dude. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, finally, our misplays have caught up to us, guys. Too many. Too many misplays, that one. Shaban was too much to handle there. Yikes, dude. Honestly, we played so bad. Like, literally, we played so bad. All right, guys, we're getting pretty late into the video, so I don't have time to do two global tourney battles. So I'm just going to throw in one uh, replay over here. Sit back, relax. I always enjoy... I know you guys prefer live battles, but maybe next video we'll do some global tourney battles as well. But I just enjoy the replays as a way to kind of sit back and talk strategy more than just being distracted. In live battles, I get really distracted with just, just the, the battle. And in replays, I can really just sit back and focus on on explaining my strategy. Now, the reason I went Barbarians right at the bridge right there aggressively is he just spent a ton of Elixir. If he did have Fireball, my hope was that by going Barbarians early, they would do enough damage before the Fireball came down. Whereas if I waited a half second and then Barbarian, my thought process was that maybe he would Fireball them. So by going early, I can maybe get some more damage done. That was my thought process right there with the uh, with the barbarians on that giant. Let me know, guys, if you if you're okay. If some of you guys prefer the replays, I know a lot of you guys prefer live battles. I did a lot of live battles today for you guys. One replay I figured is is okay. Um, but like I said, it's just it's so much easier to break down the strategy when I'm not forced to actually like be in the battle itself. Gonna go bar bill right here. Unfortunately, we are a bit late because the musket gets two shots on our tower those are the kind of misplays that can easily cost you a game uh because that was what like 500 damage the musketeer got for free when i could have answered her and got no damage done 
So definitely a pretty big mistake. It's easy to overlook misplays like that, right? Oftentimes you, you, you don't notice that. And then at the end of the battle, let's say you're at the end of the battle and you're in a damage race. Let's say your tower is at 300, his tower is at 400, and you're trying to get back to your poison and he kills your tower first. It's easy to forget that earlier on you allowed a free 500 damage to your tower with that failed Barbarian Barrel because that 500 damage would have meant you, ha you would have had 800 instead of 300 at the end of the battle. So misplays like that definitely can cause you... Gonna go super aggressive grave right there. I poisoned because I thought he was gonna go bats, but he didn't. Uh, so kind of an overcommittal by me, but look at this. He freezes the musketeer. Barbarian's going down just barely in time to finish off the mini P.E.K.K.A. Giant goes down, and we are absolutely destroying this battle so far. His King Tower, honestly, if I was a bit more aggressive, I could have actually gone for the Three Crown. But sometimes you can get a bit risky with that and end up losing the lead. So I decided here to kind of just hold on for the dub instead of being too uh, aggressive with the um, with the Three Crownage. But Barbarians are going down right there, doing some work to the Minipeka and the Giant. Barbarians are absolutely nasty, with our Musketeer kind of cleaning up the mess and uh, everything going down, holding on for that one crown victory. And there we go, guys, busting out a pretty solid dub. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here are the two graveyard decks. One more time, if you want to go ahead and try them out yourself, we have the uh, Spear Goblin Hut graveyard kind of spell bait deck that we did a few battles with, and then we have the super defensive strategy with the Infernal Tower, the Valkyrie, and the Electro Wizard. Let me know down below which one you think is better in terms of uh, just being better. <laughs> this one obviously is better on defense, I would say, for sure. I would say this one maybe is better for holding on for a draw, whereas this one is better for actually doing damage with your graveyard. Because with this one, if they have poison in their deck, uh, you don't really have much poison bait. Besides your Skarmy, which they might just have a Zap or a Log for anyways. So this one is, is better for more consistent aggressiveness. But this one is better for more defense, in my opinion. We did pretty well today, guys. We beat uh, Golem uh, NATO. We beat P.E.K.K.A. Control. We beat uh, Lava Hound uh, Devil Dragon. We unfortunately lost to whatever this deck was. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he had a ton of splash damage. He had Witch, Princess... Uh, giant skeleton. Uh, I don't think we stood a chance. I mean, we did stand a chance, a big one. I'm just a nub and lost, uh, but uh, we'll pretend that it was the opposite scenario. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.